Prakash lands a part of 20,000 rupees at 8% simple interest and remaining at 4 by 3% simple interest. His total income after a year was rupees 800. Find the sum lent at 8%. Here allegation is the best method for these types of problem. The total money lent is 20,000 and part of this 20,000 lent at 8% simple interest and other part lent at 4 by 3% simple interest. So, Write 8 percentage and 4 by 3 percentage on LHS and RHS respectively. Now, income after a year was rupees 800. So, this 800 is received from this 8 percentage and 4 by 3 percentage respectively. So, write 800 in the middle. Now, this 8 and 4 by 3 in percentage format. So, we should find the percentage form of this 800. This 800 is received from this total 20,000 rupees. So, 800 out of 20,000 is 0, 0 cancel, 0, 0 cancel, 8 by 2 is 4 percentage. So, 800 is 4 percentage of 20,000. So, write 4 percentage in the middle. Now, you can see this 8 percentage symbol interest and 4 by 3 percentage symbol interest constitute this 4 percentage. Now, take the difference, that is, difference between 8 and 4 is 4 percentage, difference between 4 by 3 and 4 is 8 by 3 percentage, that is, 4 minus 4 by 3 is 3 into 4, 12, 12 minus 4 is 8, so 8 by 3. Now, if you take the ratio of 8 by 3 and 4 percentage, percentage, percentage cancel, 4 goes 2 times in 8. That is 2 by 3 is to 1. That means 2 is to 3 is the ratio. So, sum lended 8 percentage is 2 part and sum lended 4 by 3 percentage is 3 part. Now, sum lent at 8 percentage. We need to find it. Here total part is 2 plus 3, 5 part. This 5 part is this 20,000 rupees. Now, 5 goes 4 times in 20. That is 1 part is equal to 4000. Now, sum lent at 8 percentage is equal to 2 part. 2 part. So, 2 part is equal to 2 into 4000 which is equal to 8000. Or you can find 2 by 5 into 20k. This is also 8k. Because 2 part out of 5 part. 2 part is the money lent at 8 percentage. Total part is 2 plus 3, 5 part. Which is in 20,000 rupees. So, which is converted into 20,000 rupees is 8,000. So, option A is your answer.